Not dumped two years ago. Apparently, it was a vicious Julia Roberts to Kiefer Sutherland kind of dump. She broke his heart, slept with his best friend, and took the dog. He swore off women completely until he met me. Wow, that was a lot of ground you guys covered last night. He finally admitted, once his cough started coming back, that what we have, he no longer views as casual. He said we are officially in a committed... Hey, I know that word. ...relationship, and I would not be remotely out of line if I called myself his girlfriend. And then I handed him the NyQuil, and then he passed out. Very romantic. I know. I'm happy for you. I'm happy for me, too. Mr. Hasberger. Hello there. Hello, Rory. Hi. Paris Geller. We met a couple months ago. I remember the handshake. Reminded me of Jimmy Breslin's. Hi, compliment. Would you excuse us? Oh, sure. Are you looking for Logan? No, I know better than to look for my son in the newsroom. I came to talk to you. About what? I'm very sorry about what happened the other night. It's OK. My family behaved atrociously. And though Logan was a little naive to walk into the lion's den without a chair like that, they were wrong, and you deserve an apology. OK. Thank you. So I hear you have some rather lofty journalistic aspirations. I have plans. You know, my company just acquired a small newspaper, the Stamford Eagle Gazette. Decent circulation, pretty sorry writing, but definite potential. When we buy a new paper, I like to spend some time there, take a couple of months, help turn it around, make sure we're getting our money's worth. Stanford isn't a bad train ride from here, is it? Um, no. I have an internship available, if you're interested. An internship? Yeah, be a good chance for you to get your feet wet, experience how the real thing works. No. Thank you. No, thank you? I appreciate the offer, but no. May I be so bold as to inquire, <clears throat> why the hell not? Because I have a feeling that the only reason you're doing this is because you feel guilty about what happened the other night at dinner. And it's very nice, but very unnecessary. So what? Excuse me? Say the only reason I offered this to you is because my family behaved badly and I wanted to make up for it. Say I have no interest in furthering your career. This is still an opportunity. Who cares why you got the opportunity? It's here. And life is about making the most of everything you're handed. Well, this is being handed to you. Now, what are you going to do about it? Monday, 10 o'clock. Call my office for the details. And bring a pencil. You never know when you're going to need a pencil. <laughs> 